Hi, today we are going to discuss about the articulation point and biconnected components of the graph, connected and biconnected graphs. So, first of all, I would like to say a graph is said to be biconnected if there is no articulation point. Then we have to know that what is an articulation point. Actually, articulation point is a vertex by deleting that vertex if the graph is divided into two subgraphs, independent subgraphs, then we will say that the articulation, that point is called as the articulation point. Here first of all I said that a biconnected graph is a graph in which there is no articulation point. A graph GB is said to be biconnected if there is no articulation point. So here the, in this graph this 3 is the articulation point because if you will delete this 3 then this graph will be divided into 2 subgraphs. But if you delete 2 it is not an articulation point. If you delete 6 also not an articulation point. So that is why we should have to know the what is the articulation point. Now the vertex V is uh, in a connected graph G is an articulation point. If by deleting that vertex with all com connecting edges it discontinue, it disconnects the graph into two subgraphs that is called as the articulation point. Now, how could we detect the articulation point of a biconnected component? Suppose here it is the graph and if you will connect this edge, then there is no articulation point. This is called as a biconnected graph, right? So, in a biconnected graph, there is no articulation point. In a connected graph, if it is articulation point is there, then there is, that is not called as the biconnected graph. So now we will go for the DFS of traversal of this uh, spanning tree. So here, suppose I have traversed first one, then I will discover the edge uh, node that is four, then I will discover three, then I will discover five. I am going through the DFS traversal, then I will discover six. After that, what I will do? Again, I have to there is an edge from 6 to 3 and again there is 3 to 2 and 2 to again there is an edge to 1. So this is one cycle and this is another cycle. So you can number it cycle 1 and this one is also cycle 2, C1 and C2. So the question is here, suppose these are the nodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, we should have to, how we will calculate that whether there is an articulation point in a graph or not. So to calculate the articulation point of a graph, we should have to calculate like this. So these are the nodes of the graphs. So we have to find out the discovery time of the, these are the nodes and these are the discovery time we will calculate. How to calculate the discovery time? So suppose first node we have discovered at first instance, we can say that discovery time is 1, this is 2, this is 3 this is 4, this is 5 and after that this is 6 and this is over. Now you tell me the discovery time of 1 is 1 and 4 is 2, 3 is 3 and 5 is 4 and 6 is 5 like this and 2 discovery time is 6. Now how many phases we have passed to discover this node to the original position that we have to calculate. Suppose one node, we should have to pass how many phases, I already uh, told you that this is one cycle and this is another cycle we have calculated and how many cycles we have passed from one to one, only one cycle. So this is the cycle we should have to check, the cycle will be one and from four to again one, we will go through the first cycle that is 1 and 3 also in this that is 1, 2 also it will be 1. But in this cases if you will go 3 to 5 and 6 we will go through this cycle then another this cycle. So likewise, so first cycle whatever we have faced that we will identify that is cycle 3 and its discovery time also you should have to mention that is 3 and 3 for 4 and 5 uh, sorry 5 and 6 nodes the cycle we have faced that is 3 and 3. The question is how to find the uh, articulation point of the graph 
if we, you should have to follow the rule like this if the lowest time of the child is greater than or equal to the discovery time of the parent then that parent is called as the articulation point you can take is at lowest or lc the then you should have to check this lc value of a child if it is greater than the discovery time of its parent then that is called as the articulation point now we will go by one by one so first we will check that whether one is an articulation point so one is actually a parent it has no child uh, sorry oh, uh, one is the parent and uh, its uh, discovery time is one and its child who is its child its child is four its lowest time is two so uh, sorry its discovery time is two two is not uh, parent uh, discovery time is 2 and this one is uh, that is 1 so you should, that is the, that the inequality is not at all correct right so now we will go for the same that is the next one suppose we will go for the parent child relationship that is 3 as 3 is the articulation point we will check it so let us check the discovery time of the parent suppose we are considering 5 and 3 is, a, is parent so discovery time of discovery time of 3 who is the parent if it is lowest time of child its child is 5 so lowest time of 5 what is the lowest time of 5 lowest type of 5 is 3 and discovery time of 3 discovery time of 3 is 3 so 3 greater than equal to 3. So, who is the articulation point? Now, the parent will be the articulation point. Parent is 3. So, 3 is the articulation point. Now, you check or for all other cases, it will not satisfy. Suppose, I am telling you, only for 5 and 6, yet the parent is 3, it will satisfy. For 3 and 4, you check. For 3 and 4, it will not satisfy. Suppose the discovery time of, I will check, parent, this is 3 parent is 4 and lowest time of 3. Lowest time of 3 is what? Lowest time of 3 is 1. Discovery time of 4, discovery time of 4 is 2. This inequality is not satisfied. So, this is not a, an articulation point. If you can consider one by one, you will go for two. If you will go for two and three, so two check discovery time of parent. Parent is supposed to child is three. So discovery time of parent that is two and discovery time lowest time of child. Lowest child of child is three. So lowest time of three. Lowest time of three is equal to one whether it is greater than equal to discovery time of 2 discovery time of 2 is 6 not satisfied so 2 is not articulation point for for this root condition is different because you, if you will consider the root condition that is little bit different and this is the way through which we can check the articulation point and we will find out the y connected components and the articulation points of a connected graph. Thank you.